What's up guys, it's Matt. As you can see, I just unboxed my 52 inch Husky tool chest. I posted the unboxing and that setup in a previous video. I'll link that up in the information card in the top right hand corner. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, this video is gonna focus on just basically going through the tool chest, kind of looking into the drawers, looking at all the features, uh, and giving my first impressions. So I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get to it. All right guys, let's go around the exterior of this box first and kind of take a look at it. We've got the swiveling handle on the top cabinet. We've got a power cable coming out of the back as well as another power cable on the other side. You've got a grommet here for another power cable to go up into the top. Um, as you can see, you have some threads here to add an additional handle, although the handle that they provided me, they only provided me one, so I decided to put it over here. You've got your swiveling handle on the top cabinet like the other side, and then you have this beer bottle opener feature. Kind of gimmicky, but I'm sure I'll put it to good use. So then when you look at the front of this chest, you've got these handles up here. From what I've seen on other YouTube videos, previous models of this did not come with these handles, which are pretty nice because there's really no way to open this up without the handles. As you can see, up here you've got your pneumatic cylinders so that the top comes up nice and gradually and doesn't bang the hinges. Here are the grommets that I had showed you on the back side. You can bring power cables up through here. You have a power strip here with two USB ports and four outlets here. That's what the power cables from the back are for. As you can see, you have one on each side. So you have a total of four USB ports and eight outlets. If you're charging more than eight tools at a time, you can throw in some, some cables through the grommets. Uh, but I think for me, that's definitely sufficient. On the back here, you can see you have these rails. Uh, you can put inserts in here to hang your tools. The inserts are not included with the tool chest, but it's a good feature to have. Uh, you see up here you've got this, uh, I don't know, an eighth inch foam mat. Just kind of throw on the top. It's pretty wrinkly. If you saw my previous unboxing video, you'll know that these mats were kind of just all thrown in there wrinkled up, crumpled up, so once you get some tools on here, once you get some uh, heavy weight on here, I'm sure they will flatten out nicely. So moving down in this top cabinet, let's close this guy. You've got your lock for the entire top right here. This will lock everything, all the drawers, um, but then you have this secondary lock that only locks this drawer. Not sure why that's there, not sure why that's needed. I'm sure there's a reason for it if it's there. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what that's for. When you look at this top cabinet, you've got these pretty short, probably a half inch clearance drawers, smaller size and then a larger size, and that's both top two. When you look down at the bottom drawers, they're much deeper. It looks like you get about four and a half inches of clearance, and this is something where I'm probably gonna fill these with sockets, extensions, etc. stuff that's a little bit taller than your average tool. And you have this on this side. Again, this is the locking mechanism. So you have an individually, individually locked drawer. Moving on down to the bottom, you have one lock that locks the entire drawer set. You've got this full length drawer, which is pretty nice when you have longer tools, breaker bars, uh, stuff like that. It's a pretty good depth too, so you can, you can have a pretty good clearance on this guy. Moving down, we have the same depth drawer for the next three down on 
both sides. You have your uh, shorter width drawer and then your longer width drawer. And then on the very bottom, you have these bins. Very, very deep. Good for storing power tools, uh, air tools, etc. So, why did I buy this particular model over the 52 inch gloss black model? It's essentially the same tool chest, but this is $100 more expensive. Well, I want to show you the features that this one has that the gloss black one does not have. First of all, the gloss black does not have power outlets. It does not have power strips at the top. I think it does have the grommet so you can pull in an external power strip, but having the built-in power strips is just so much more convenient. It does not have these rails in the back for um, hanging tools. Obviously, the finish is different. I prefer the matte black finish rather than the gloss black finish. I'm thinking that uh, keeping this looking nice will be much easier. So up here, those are the main differences. Um, the beer bottle opener is also not offered for the gloss black, which, I mean, that thing's pretty gimmicky. It's definitely not the reason why I decided with this one over the gloss black. The real reason why I decided to go with this guy and pay the extra $100 is because of the drawers. The drawer and sliding mechanism on this tool chest feels so much better than the gloss black. Uh, not only do the drawers feel heavier, do they feel smoother, but the closing mechanism is night and day. As you can see, when you close these drawers, they slowly close themselves, avoiding banging the drawers shut. When I checked out the gloss black 52 inch Husky at Home Depot, I closed the drawers and right about here, they just slam shut. For that reason alone, I decided to purchase this one um, among all the other features, They're just icing on the cake. So that's pretty much it. I'm sure I've missed something, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more content like this, subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm posting automotive related videos, uh, but I'm guessing that as I fill this chest up, I'm going to be posting more tool related videos as well. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.